In the top left, we have for Risen going up 1 0 in this series. It is Jet. Man in the bottom right, playing in the orange. He is playing for a nocturnal game, is needs to come back into the series, it's prayer to all. Yeah, it looks like pretty almost mirror builds. Oh they are mirror builds, they're just different skins. <laughs> for the probes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it it's not a surprise. This is the the meta build at the moment in PvP because uh, if you go Nexus first, uh, and your opponent even smells it's uh, I mean, uh, a Nexus off the gate, sorry, and your opponent even smells it, just puts a pilot on the map and just keeps warping stalkers and eventually just overwhelm the base and destroy it. it you, you just you need to get at least two gateways in the beginning, and then you can uh, choose your tech or choose if you want to expand. It's it's just it's the super safe and it's basically the only way to go I feel like to take a Nexus is just so so risky because everyone probe scouts basically and once it gets scouted it puts you in such a difficult position because there's just so much that the other products can do but it's just going to be completely murderable there's just going to be uh, stalkers coming off both players so it's which means so, some do like to uh, pull the depths and try and be aggressive with that, and at the same time, it allows you to get your tech up faster because you're not using as much gas. But they're both going to go for, for stalkers early on, which is uh, definitely not surprising whatsoever. So Jet choosing to go out to the middle of the map with the stalkers and Praetor. What's that right? Praetor sounds like a Latin like general or something. Is just scouting uh, the flanks. So mirror builds but a little bit different choice on how to use those first couple stalkers and a little bit earlier nexus here for jet yeah so he's gonna go and try to be uh, so prepared to put his nexus down almost at the same time so it's not that big of a, a difference oh this this fight goes can go super well for the for jet if he's got he had the high ground vision but he loses the stalker first but I think, still think Praeto has to disengage because he has two very weak stalkers. But there is a, a probe at the top of the, um, this map for Praeto. I wonder if he's going to put it some kind of proxy down. I can imagine it will be. The cheeky little probe. There we go. And, uh, so, yeah, Jet's got a sneaky probe over here too, and very similar play styles. <laughs> yeah, it's just, Jet has chosen Twilight Council to go for an early, early blink, where it's, uh, Praetor skipped the Twilight Council completely. Oh no, he's, he's just put it down now, but he's a bit later. But went for that rover facility a little bit earlier. Um, again, it's, it's almost murdered. He's just going to have Blink a bit earlier, but I still think uh, Praetor's going to get Blink after this and do exactly the same thing. And, oh, that's nice for Jet. He gets in and scouts everything. Yeah, I think he barely got that, that Twilight as well. Nicely done. On a Dark Shrine. Yeah. Ooh. I like that. But Jet does have all he needed to defend it. He's got this rover facility, which means he can build observers at any stage now. And they, they really do not take long to build. But if, if his observers are out of place, it's almost an auto win for Praetor because it's just these DTs. Once they get into a mineral line, they just do so much damage. Yeah. And it's just very difficult to come back from that but he is building one observer and it seems to be keeping with his army which is exactly what you need to be doing i wouldn't even mind even a second observer just to make sure i mean he, he must sense that something's coming though because he's, there's just a lack of gateways i mean he's put them down now but they are very much delayed than they normally would be i mean if this war prison flies in and there's DTs, and then there's no observers around. Mineral lines become so slow. They just they just fall so quickly. I think he just has the one observer, and it's yeah, it's in his natural. And now he just yeah, yeah now mortals. Well, he's got one or something. We'll see. Yeah, I think it, I think it might be enough, but it, it, we'll see. It's, you do need to uh, know that uh, see that they're coming. Uh, and he's not, I don't think he's going to see the wall prism. Yeah, that's, that's really clever to split them off. I don't okay, see the observer here. Oh no, my god, did he send it out on the map? Oh, it's out on the map. Okay, this is really oh, bad. Oh, that is this bad. Is, this is... <laughs> Six probes so far. I think he's going to avoid 
losing too many probes just by running them around, but like there's a lot of delayed mining time. I don't think Praetor should have ever dis taken his DTs and disengaged. I don't think he realized how far the Observer was out on the map. He could have got so many more probe kills if he just kept following the probes around. So, but that, that's, I mean, Jet is really far behind in the work accounts, and that's really not good. But that could have been so, so much worse for Jet. Yeah, that could have been pretty devastating. I don't think there's too much, uh, I don't think it's that bad if you lose those two DTs. It's not like you have to bring them back home to defend against, like, a counterattack or something. Uh, but yeah, now, he, now he has them, so, and he's ahead in, in workers. And Jet doesn't yeah, care, do he's like, dropping the third base. Which is probably going to go down to this DT. No, okay, if he had attacked pretty, uh... Pretty early on, that next would have been in danger, but it should go up even if it starts swiping it away. At, uh, swiping away. Oh, there he goes. Now he sees. He's just barely out of vision. Okay, but he, at least he scouts the third base. That's pretty good for for uh, Prater. He knows that this third base is down for Jet. Yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna move out on the map with an army of his own. But I think uh, Jet does have enough at home and defenders' advantages as well to to hold it. But it is he does Praetor does have a pretty big army supply lead and he also has these DTs as well which will be morphed into Archons which is pretty strong. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit nervous for Jet here. He has two immortals, but he's kinda teching right now. Like he's willing more gateways, he's got the Templar Archive coming in. Uh he's got a few sentries, so maybe he can buy some time, but this area outside the third is so wide that I don't know, man, let's see what happens. Yeah, and I think that Archon just has so much damage to these zealots, and also tanks a lot. Yeah, I think he's got to give up the space. Oh, but that's really nice force fields, but it, it's not going to keep Praetor from getting the space, and he needs to keep this third base alive. He, Jet really needs to keep this third base alive. It's it's super important, but there's just no way he can. Yeah. He's got the high ground, but he can't really go down that ramp. Nice aggressive blinks here by Praetor. I think these two Immortals are going to... Oh, man, I guess he lost one. They're going to hold strong. Oh, he's got three Immortals of his own. Oh, I'm starting to get pretty nervous for Jet's chances here. Yeah. Big aggressive think, blink. Yeah, the, the, I think that was 100% the right move. Just one Immortal. Oh. Yeah, this G. The dance. Oh, oh. they all... Oh, man. So, I was hoping to go back in and see the, the end of the dance, but oh well. Oh, well. I always like to see that. Just It's just... In a ladder game, it's different, but in, in a, when you know your opponent, really, it's, it's I think it's quite funny to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. I do in the ladder game every now and then, too. <laughs> 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 All right, well, it's, we've got an interesting series on our hands. The last two weeks have been all kills, and um, that dream is going down pretty quickly here for, for Risen. Yeah, I'm going to say I, I am pretty pleased that... <laughs> It wasn't an all kill again. I think this could be really, really close. I know. Um, I think it's risen. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's. Let me check. Do I know for sure? Yeah, risen has uh, fight some crime. It's actually oh my god, banana from South Esports, and he's really good. Like he's six k MMR, and he he could definitely do a lot of damage if they get him in. Man, yeah, I think I remember looking up his stats last time. He's like, I don't know. 30 or 40 GM or something like that. Really crazy. Really crazy stuff. Man, all these yeah, that is tier really Protoss. Good. I guess they're all hiding in Masters and uh, in GM. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was just amusing myself yesterday because there was some, I don't know, there was some like, I guess he read a post about how like whenever some diamond player, whenever he beats a uh, Protoss player, he just feels like he's clubbing an endangered animal or something. <laughs> and I went and looked. They really are. Like, Protoss are, like, pretty outnumbered in, like, Diamond and Plat. Um, but uh, Terran is, like, 60% of Bronze League. So, yeah. Feels yeah. good, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.